Well, we're here with Dr. Wong today uh, from Washington uh, State, uh, um, uh, Washington, and the city is called Federal Way. Um, what a name. Um, Dr. Wong, hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Dr. Wong, tell us a little bit. You know, you're a dentist, uh, Dr. Wong, and uh, most of us patients, um, you know, we, we, we're sometimes not so sure, you know, how dentists are different, and to a degree we believe that a dentist is a dentist is a dentist, which might be true, and at the same token, uh, not all of you do all of the same type of work, and don't all of you have the same philosophy in your practice. So Dr. Wong, why don't you tell us a little bit about your philosophy in your practice, and maybe, maybe you can even tell us how you became a dentist. What makes a person like you becoming a dentist? Well, every dentist is a little different. Um, I became a dentist because I enjoyed working with my hands and I enjoyed helping people. Um, and I, th I think dentistry really suits me because I, I like helping people and, and working with my hands. And I love, I, I've always loved science. Um, and that's why the profession fits me really well. Um, as far as the difference between dentists, I think every dentist sees, sees things differently. Um, you can go to um, you know ten, def ten different dentists and you'll get like ten different um, treatment plans. Um, so right. Every dentist is going to be slightly different. So what makes uh, you know what what is your philosophy in the practice? Are you working more like uh, very very high end cosmetic cases? You know, give everybody a Julia Robertson or a Tom Cruise. Uh, uh, Brad Pitt type of smile or are you um, uh, doing that uh, at the same token are you more concentrating on doing what's uh, I think called functional dentistry you know to make a, a person's mouth uh, you know reasonable good looking uh, but, but very important to know its function because you know sometimes that extra so to say different beauty is almost like cosmetic surgery. It costs a lot of money um, and it's not necessarily appreciated, needed and wanted by many people, but what is needed and wanted is of course fixing the everyday dental problems uh, to make sure no infections are in the mouth, to make sure you know the big holes are fixed. Basically, you know, are you doing implant dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, um, but at the same time, are you also you know, they what used to be or what is still called the family dentist who, uh, uh, you, you know, fixes the toothache, does the root canal, uh, make sure the fillings are done, make sure the children are uh, well taken care of and get their sealants um, done and, and, and things like that. Uh, uh, give us a little background there. Um, yeah, we're, we're definitely, um, I would categorize my practice as a family dental practice. We see patients from um, newborns to 100 years old. Um, and we do see a lot of the cosmetic cases. We do do implants, um, but we also do just the routine um, de dental procedures like fillings, crowns, bridges, pretty much everything. We've got it. Well, I'm sure if you do 100-year-old people, that some of them, uh, even though they could and uh, could have implants and stuff, they probably also will want to have dentures or replace their old dentures, and so you're doing that also, I assume, right? Yes, we are. We do quite a few dentures in our office, okay. and we do see quite, quite a few elderly patients that, that need it. Okay. Well, all right. Well, all right. Here we go. So basically... Yes, the family can come, mom can come, can bring her little kid, the kid can see how uh, the dentistry isn't necessarily so painful, can get used to the dental office and eventually, um, you know, gets dentistry down him or herself, the, you know, the little uh, child. And if people do want to have a nice uh, makeover, so to say, then, um, then you can do that too. Yes, that's certainly the case. And you admit that every dentist will have a little different approach of it um, than uh, than the other dentist, which doesn't necessarily make it worse or better, just slightly different, as I call it. Is 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 that true? Um, I'm sorry, you were cutting out a little bit. Can you repeat the question? Sure. Well, say, you know, you said that every dentist, 10 dentists will give probably 10 different treatment plans, and it's not necessarily that those 10 
different treatment plans that one is a lot worse than the other one or one is a lot better than the other one. It's just that they're slightly different approaches but not necessarily uh, worse or better. Uh, they're just different. It's not necessarily better. Um, some dentists are a little bit more conservative. Some dentists are a little bit more aggressive in their, in their treatment plan. Um, some dentists, you know, offer only the best, off, offer a comprehensive treatment and, and allow the patients to choose what they want. Um, we're, my practice, I, I try to offer the patients all the options. I try to educate them and give them how they want to treat their mouths. Um, and as I tell them, you know, a doctor is really a teacher, a teacher of dentistry, and, and I'm there just to educate them and, and service them to how they want to be serviced. All right. I see. So the difference is that some dentists, um, they might already exclude certain type of treatments because they feel that that isn't, um, let's just say, quite so good. And that might or might not be true. Um, Basically, they, they, they limit a little bit like in politics. You know, we, 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 we do vote, but we only vote for two or three people in the first place. <laughs> They're already given to us, so we're not really voting, voting all the range through. And uh, some dentists do that with their patients, but you basically educate them on everything. Your statement about a, dent, a dentist being a teacher is, of course, very true, because in the definition, in the Webster Dictionary, if you look up, a dentist is an educator, a dentist is a teacher. Don't it comes from a, you know, a teaching uh, a period, and uh, that's a very great approach to take. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Wang, um, for telling us what it is all about in your office. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, Helmut. Bye-bye.